from my research, actually, is looking at mobile devices, Hiragoji, which is a new teaching framework, and social media. So I'm actually doing my PhD from um, University, Madoc University, and my supervisors, Jen Harrington and Mr. Dr. Tom Cochran, sitting in the corner there. All right, so let's begin. I'm actually driven quite heavily by DOI and what actually most of the educationists are saying today that how there's a big, big mismatch between the learners in the teaching at the moment in the education sector. And what DOI is saying is if we teach today as we were taught yesterday, we rob our students of tomorrow. And funnily enough, I was Googling a few pictures about creativity and innovation. And I came across this. So it's a it's a page from a book about human evolution. And of course, it's about the Neanderthals. And I, I, I don't know, but I think the students got bored. And you can see what they did on the page. Yeah. So you can see the name. They've, they've got the guitar. Uh, the Neanderthals are drumming and all that. So it says there's a, there's a risk if, if what or how we are teaching does not associate with Elena, then we will have, have problems because the learners are disengaged from the whole learning process. Um, yeah, so just, just a bit of a background about my research in the context. I'm sure you all know how much mobile devices and social media are actually affecting in our societies. It's not new. It has been happening for a while, even since the invention of electricity. Uh, when electricity first was invented, and people could actually join up for it, sign up for it, and um, have electricity at night, most of the universities were saying, look, we don't need this because our students will be doing things which we don't want them to do. So even since electricity, the notion of change has actually been there, and we actually don't accept that. Especially in education, you know, I was just electricity and saying students change the whole campus atmosphere. Um, yeah, so mobile devices and social media actually done huge changes in our society. Basically, what they're saying is this was in 2012, um, that by 2013 onwards, they'll have, we'll have more number of people connected to the internet from, from mobile devices than the overall population of the planet. And the Guardian this year actually said that by the end of this year, we'll have more number of people connecting to the internet from mobile devices, and the number will actually exceed the population of the internet. So you can see the growth um, in the whole mobile context. So my research actually um, quickly skipped through that. Underpinned, so it revolves around the notion of pedagogy, which is sort of determined and Learning. Um, this this framework, this pedagogical framework, is actually relatively new. Came up in 2000, uh, but it's quite powerful when you think of it in terms of mobile devices and social media. Um, so I'm going to critique this a bit. Uh, Blesk, she did a review of pedagogical practice in 2000, practices in 2012, and this is what she said. She said that the framework has received renowned interest because of social media. She doesn't really focus on mobile devices, but she focuses on social media. And uh, but she does say about conventions are uh, ubiquitous uh, mobile social media. So mobile devices do come in place. Uh, and then she further outlines that uh, there is space for research within this domain because Hugo is new. Of mobile social media is new. There's very little research around that and how mobile social media can actually really impact pedagogy within tertiary settings, higher education, and even schools. So, just getting into the whole bolts and nuts of the research, the overall uh, goal of my research is basically to study and investigate mobile social media how it can be used when they've been student generated content and context. Now, if you read literature on pedagogy, uh, pedagogy is sometimes referred to as student generated content and context. Because
because when the learners are driving their own learning, they are determining the content and the space. This is what race basically comes down to. It's about learning to learn the content in the process. And they choose where and how the learning happens. Uh, so, so my research question for the study uh, basically is to identify or investigate the technological and pedagogical affordances of mobile social media with regards to pedagogy as a practice. Uh, in terms of designing for learning with pedagogy as a framework, what are some of the issues teachers face or experience in the process? What is the role of the teacher in facilitating the pedagogical uh, learning process? What are the students' experiences? So why? Why would you do it? What are, what, what's in it for the students? And of course, the last one is how did the use of mobile social media within the university framework enhance their whole learning process? I guess the investigation there is why is it good, why is it better? What's in it for the students? Why would you do it? 